Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today we're going to be working on number 19 on the new general curriculum math subtest. I'll start by reading over number 19 and then we'll work through the math involved. Here we go. It says, what is the value of the expression, and they have this expression here, rounded to the nearest tenth. And we have answer choices, A, B, C, and D. Now, we're going to be evaluating this expression. We're going to be doing using order of operations. So order of operations, just like the last problem, say we do what's in the parentheses first. We'll solve this portion first. And there is an element of rounding going on. We'll work through, we're going to work through the rounding um, as well. You'll notice, though, that when we round, we're rounding to the nearest tenth. All right. Now that's uh, that's pretty close, and, and and even if you look at the answer choices here, look at A, B, C, and D. They're all very close in value. In fact, A and B, A and B is A is thirty one point nine, B is thirty two point one. They're only off team by two tenths. So you got to be very very careful. If you do do any rounding, don't round to the nearest tenth on any of these values. If you do any rounding, round to the nearest hundredth, right? Hundredth is okay. Tenth is too close because if you're off by a tenth, it's going to mess everything up. It's going to be too close. So if you're going to have to do any rounding to simplify these numbers, round to the nearest hundredth. Let me explain what I mean. There's really only one section where you have to do some rounding, and it's in here. This three and a quarter can be rewritten as 3.25. It's here that's a little trickier. Now, to simplify this number out, we're going to round to the nearest hundredths place. The zero is in the tenths place. The one digit is in the hundredths place. If I round to the nearest hundredths place, which is a ten times less than a tenth, right? So it's just a, a really tiny change. It's going to simplify this. So the one gets rounded to a what? Well, the nine goes up, and this becomes 3.25 minus 1.02 all divided by 0 0.07. Now look, that slight change makes this subtraction problem a lot easier. Let's do that subtraction problem out real quick. 3.25 minus the 1.02. Set it up. Start subtracting. 5 minus 2 is what? 3. 2 minus 0 is 2. Drop down the decimal. 3 minus 1 is 2. Just a slight change with the values here, rounding it to the nearest hundredths place, only changes it a little bit. But look, it makes your life a lot easier with this subtraction problem. All right, let's continue with the problem. 2.23, all divided by 0 0.07. We're going to be doing some dividing here, and, and it's, it's, it's never nice to divide by decimals. Whenever possible, you want to convert the decimals into whole numbers. And it's just a form that's a little bit easier to digest that maybe you're a little bit more familiar with. So what we're going to do is I'm going to multiply the, the bottom here by 100. And I'm going to do the same thing to the top, multiply the top by 100. So I'm multiplying the bottom and the top by the same amount. Now 100 divided by 100 is really 1. So this multiplying bo the bottom by 100 and the top by 100, it's the same as multiplying this value by 1. It doesn't change the value but it simplifies the numbers. In this case right here, if I multiply the bottom by 100 or the denominator by 100, it moves the decimal over two spaces, making this a 7, making this 223. All right, let's, let's do this division problem. 7 goes into 22 how many times? 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 22 minus 21 is 1. 7 goes into 13 how many times? Once. 1 times 7 is 7. 13 minus 7 is, what is that? 6. Let's, let's drop down a 0 here. So we've got to go into the decimals here. 7 goes into 60 how many times? 8. 8 times 7, 56. Okay, let's stop here. The quotient to this problem is approximately 31.8. Now what answer is approximately 31.8? The answer is A. Look how close... We have an approximation, and we have an answer. See how close it is? If you had rounded too aggressively, 
Some teachers, when they see round, they're like, oh, I can change this to a three, and I can change this to a one. If you do stuff like that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of these other options. Even if you were to, in your rounding, if you were rounding and thinking that uh, you could round to the nearest tenths place, thinking that that's okay because they said it's okay to round, if you did that type of stuff, you would have rounded this one, I don't know, to 3.3 .3 and this one to 1. And I, I, I team, I, I guarantee they're anticipating that. They're anticipating that you make that kind of mistake because that's going to throw off all your work. And they've built that into these false answers that don't work. So just be cautious of it, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.